microbiologists tell us is that you don't need to boil the water at all. You only need to heat it to the pasteurization temperature, which is typically about 65 degrees C, far below the boiling point. This idea has been around for a long time. A lot of good work was done by uh, a fellow named Dale Andrietta. So I've been involved in cook stoves for about 10 years, since 2002, and I'm sure I met Damon shortly after um, I started, and then Fred later on when the lab moved here to Cottage Grove. Um, Mm, and I think it was 2009 I gave a talk at Ethos about how you could build a fuel-powered water pasteurizer, including the flow-through system that ultimately came to be built by InStove. Um, for a while nothing happened, but then one day about a year ago I got an email from Damon saying, you know, we took that idea and ran with it. Uh, Dale uh, gave a talk about two years ago proposing a system, and I've, it's gone through a lot of iterations, but Basically, I'm back to the same system that Dale was recommending, and I give credit to him for um, the pasteurization technique and for the inspiration to have us go ahead and try to make a workable system. Uh, so I like this notion where I sort of suggest an idea and then other people do 99% of the work. So I very much like that division of labor. Uh, we designed this system to utilize our 100 liter uh, cooking stove so that you could also purify water in emergency situations. And uh, basically what happens is that there is a, is a valve inside the pot that we use for cooking, and water feeds into that pot through a siphon system and a, and a float valve, like you have to control the level of the water in your toilet. And there is another valve uh, called a thermostatic valve. And I got to thinking that once you're done with the heat of the water, in other words, it has a thermostatic valve that allows water to flow through when it's hot enough. But once you're done with that water, you can recycle the heat of the water to heat up more water coming in and make your device more powerful and more efficient with the same amount of energy. This particular one that we have in there um, starts opening at 71 degrees centigrade and is fully opened at about 76 degrees centigrade. And so um, it will close again at 71, so there's no way for water to get through the system is if it isn't at least 71 degrees centigrade, which is enough to kill all the bad stuff. Uh, we don't know for sure what the production volumes will be with it of water, but we think it will be at least uh, 60 gallons an hour, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll probably take about two or three kilos of wood, which is a couple of heaping handfuls of kindling, basically, to do that, and it'll keep making water as long as you keep uh, feeding wood to the stove. Uh, envisioning these as uh, something that would be used in places in the third world where they have our institutional stoves. They just have to drop in this unit into the top of the existing pot and they'll be able to come up with a lot of um, clean water that's not going to make you sick in a very short period of time. And uh, that's where we are.